Hello and welcome to Indelible Gaming. I'm Tommy and today I'm going to be talking about the Astro A40TRs and the microphone not working on the Xbox One because I guess a lot of people are having a really hard time getting this guy to register on their Xbox One. So I'm going to go through some of the troubleshooting tips and things that I can think of to hopefully fix that for you guys so that you can start talking to your friends on xbox live because it's super frustrating if that doesn't work right so let's dive into this shall we so the very first thing that i want to talk about is making sure that you have everything connected right so some of these you guys are probably going to roll your eyes at me and be like oh my gosh dude like i already checked that but we're going to go through everything and you better check everything because i know there's been multiple times that i have set up something of an electronic nature and it's like the easiest, simple, littlest thing that I've completely missed the entire time, and it's messed everything up. So please do check all of these, even though they sound completely ridiculous. So the first thing is, how the heck do we set this all up? So we're going to start with, here's the mix amp right here. Sorry, my, my screen is over here that I'm looking at. So that's why if you see me looking over here, it's that's I'm looking and seeing, making sure that you can see what I'm trying to show you on the camera. This USB is going to go into your console on the back so make sure that this is plugged in because there's been a lot of times that i've accidentally had this plugged into my computer or something like that and i'm like why can't it read my voice and it's because it's not actually plugged into my console so make sure that is plugged in one person that i know of told me that sometimes i guess the back usbs aren't working so try the side usb i'm gonna go into this a little bit earlier a little bit more a little bit later so Make sure that this is plugged into the USB in the back of your console. The next thing for your SPIF, if I can grab one of these guys and show it to you. Make sure this guy is plugged into your console and then into the top of your mix amp. So those things two, those two things should be plugged in. The next thing is this isn't the right thing. Make sure whatever headset you're using is a three-pole. How do you know it's a three-pole? So let me see if I can get super close to this. So as you can see right there, you can see three black lines. That means that this is a three pole connector. You need that because that third pole is your microphone. If you're using a headset that doesn't have that, then your microphone's not gonna work. But if you're using the Astro headset, then it should have that. All right, so now I'm gonna jump into what we actually need to change in the actual mix amp itself. So we're gonna dive into the Xbox right now. All right, so here we are on the Xbox One dashboard. This should actually look the same for you this time around. So what we're going to do is we're going to double tap the home button. It's going to pop up all of these things. We're going to scroll down to settings. Then we're going to go to all settings. Then we're going to go down to display and sound. We're going to go over to audio input or output. I don't, I didn't read it. Audio output. For HDMI audio, they recommend turning this off, but if you are recording things on your Xbox One using an Elgato or something like that, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't turn that off. For optical audio, you're gonna go to Bitstream Out, and then you're gonna make sure that you click Dolby Digital because it is a Dolby Digital device, not a DTS Digital Surround Sound System. So make sure you click that, and then that is all you need to do on your actual Xbox itself. The only other thing that I can think of since we're inside the Xbox right now is once again, if we're wanting to start from the center, double click the home button, go down to settings, all settings. Then we are going to go to connect and devices, devices and accessories. And then we're going to come over here to the Xbox One controller and we are going to update it. So make sure in order to do that, like it says here, you need to connect one controller to your Xbox with a USB cable and then make sure that you update it because if you haven't done that, that might be one of the problems that you're having. So make sure you do that. You always want to keep all of your devices as updated as you can possibly do that because if you don't do that, sometimes the update messes up your stuff, but sometimes if you don't update your stuff, then you're not getting all the capabilities and functionality out of it. So make sure you do that. If you're curious on what the heck that little USB device looks like, I'm pretty sure this is it. It's it's something really tiny like this, if I can do this right. So make sure you grab this, plug it into the top of your controller. This should be pretty self-explanatory, but this end 
goes into the very top of your controller like so and then this end goes into your xbox and you go to continue and then it comes up with the screen saying updating controller controller update is in progress All right, so let's talk about some other things that you actually physically have to do that's not on the Xbox. For your mix amp, you have two different modes. So let me turn off this light really quick so you can see this better, hopefully. Right here, this red button that I keep going the wrong way for needs to be a red ring around it. That means you're in console mode. If your mix amp looks like this, and has a white ring that means you're in PC mode which means your Xbox is not going to be able to read the microphone because it's thinking that the microphone is supposed to be going to a PC so make sure you or a Mac whatever but make, so make sure you hold this down for around three seconds it'll switch over to console mode and then you'll be able to see as you can see on my Xbox it just said X headset assigned because that means that it's in console mode so make sure that you guys are in the correct mode you can switch this setting on your actual Astro Command Center by going down to the search bar Astro Command Center I'm assuming you guys already have this installed so it's gonna come up with this thing make sure that you guys are on your latest firmware version as of November 28th of 2015, it's at 2.3.9289. Anyways, make sure you guys have check this checked for check firmware updates automatically because that is important and that as well checked. So make sure that this is totally updated. If you guys don't like the side tone of hearing yourself inside your actual mix amp, you're going to want to turn this side tone all the way down and then make sure you click sync to device. The next thing that is important to note is make sure that you guys bought the right mix amp. The only Astro Mix amp that I am aware of that is able to only do chat through the USB for the Xbox One is the white Astro A40 for the Xbox One. So there's two different types of Astro Mix amp. There's the black one for the PS4, and then there is the white one for the Xbox One. They do not work on both consoles, so if you buy a black one and try to use chat on the Xbox One, it will not work. And if you buy the white one and you try to use it on the PS4, the chat will not work because they have unique components inside the actual mix amp itself to make chat work through the USB because each console was made differently, so they couldn't make it so it works on both consoles. So you need to make sure that you're buying the right one. If you have a previous A40, mix amp those won't work either you have to still use your xbox one chat adapter you have to have the astro mix amp tr pro version of it which is this one how you know you have the correct one is you'll have this little either a red thing right here for your astro mix amp or if you have the black one it'll be gold i'll show a little screen capture of the differences between the two right now on the screen the next thing that you can try to do if that doesn't work is make sure you turn off your Astro Mix Amp so press the power button so turn it off I would also just for good measure unplug the USB and then plug it back in turn off your controller so we're gonna grab our controller we're gonna hold this guy down long enough go to controller off so it turns off so both of the things are turned off and then Make sure both of them are turned off visibly, so you'll have to look at both of them. Make sure the power button's off on that one, so you can see it's off there, and then you can see it's off here, and then turn them both back on. I tend to turn the mix, app, mix amp on first, and then I'll power on my Xbox One controller. Make sure you're in PC or in console mode, so the red ring. And that, and then on my Xbox, as you can see, it said headset assigned. So make sure you do that. Also, next thing to check make sure all your cables are securely in each one of your things. So, this literally means it's tedious. Push down on this thing, push down on that, push down on the bottom here, on your actual Astros itself. Make sure you're pressing on your microphone enough. Make sure that this slot is pushed in all the way. And then make sure the USB is securely in your Xbox on the back. The next thing that you can try is try different USB slots. So you've got three of them total on your Xbox One. You've got two on the back and then one on the left side of the console. 
I use the one on the back on the very top. So there's two on top of each other. There's one right here and then another one. I use this one right here. So out of that, I don't know if that matters or not. But if it's not working for one of your USBs, try different USBs. This came from this guy whose name I'm going to put on top of my finger right now. So thanks for that. The next thing that you should do, make sure on your headset that this guy is all the way plugged in. So I would almost unplug it and then I would push it back in and replug it in. If that still doesn't work or you're getting crackling or something else like that, the good thing about these Astro TRs, take off this plate, take off this other plate, and look, there's another hole on the side for your microphone. So just switch your microphone over to the other side. And I have this plate upside down. See if that works. So I like to have my microphone on my left side, but now it's on the right side and hopefully that would work for you. So that's another thing to try and see if that works. All right, so that is all that I have got for you. So hopefully something in this video helped get your voice chat to work. If none of these worked, then I have no idea what is wrong with your headset. I literally, I have no clue. So it's probably broken or something like that. So you're gonna have to return it. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. I apologize for all the exposure a little bit earlier in the video. I don't know what the heck. I need a new camera, but I'm too poor to buy one. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. But anyways, please check out some of my other videos and stuff like that. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. And I will catch your beautiful faces on the next one. See ya!